right guys so for today's look i'm using the olimar cosmetics reina del caribe volume one palette i received this in my boxy charm and the first shade that i was taking there was the shade tropico and i'm just taking that on fluffy brushes because i switched them over this is a morphe r40 and i'm just diffusing this shade all over my crease um i absolutely love this shade it kind of does look a little bit more darker in the camera but in person it was much more brighter the next shade i'm taking is the shade guantanamera and it's more like of a burgundy shade taking that on that same brush and just placing it right under that first tropical shade started to create the dimension um i really want these two colors to stand out from the main shade that i'm going to be putting all over my lids and for those two shades will be um baradero and celia i love the names of this palette um her whole inspiration behind it she grew up in cuba so um almost all the names actually i think all the names are related to cuba which is amazing i absolutely love that um definitely showing off the latin power here in the beauty industry um, and here I'm just taking a small little tapered brush just blending in the blues with the other two first shades these two blue shades mixed together were everything I knew when I got this palette in my boxy charm that I wanted to do a look with the blue like I was gonna do a look with the blue so since the shade didn't have a black and I wanted to create a little bit of a darker dimension I did grab Nior from the Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just applying that very lightly in the outer corner and blending it out with the first brush that I started with and then I'm going to pick up El Malecon which is beautiful. It's kind of like an gold greenish iridescent shade and it complemented the inner corner so well in this look i knew that i had to do that i also added a little bit of la costa i just forgot to add a clip to it here just spraying my brush with a little bit of spray and dipping into that black shade lining my lash line getting my lashes ready for falsies sometimes i find like this is better um than using any liquid liner i have a little bit more precision and control when i use a brush so it definitely worked a lot better just curling my lashes because this is what I do now thanks to my friend Alex um, I love to curl my lashes it makes a huge difference in my lashes on itself when I add mascara only and when I put on lashes it makes it so much easier so the lashes I'm taking right here sorry my hand was super dirty I put on the fifth avenue lashes by Coco lashes and I sprayed my face with some rose water from Mario Badescu what else is new and for primer I am taking the cover effects blurring primer I love this stuff it literally erases my pores and it's not too heavy on the skin um, but it definitely gives you that filtered look So for foundation, I am taking the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, and this is in the shade Nude. And I'm going to be buffing that out with a small detailed brush from Morphe. And I'm also going to go on top of that with my Beauty Blender. And then on top of that, I'm adding here in this clip a little bit of the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 220, which is my ultimate fave. But when I was in New York, I did this combo and I absolutely love it, especially for when I want to go for like really, really full coverage glammed up um, makeup. I always use that combination now. Um, and here I am taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I absolutely love this concealer hence i've used it in every single video um but i do want to try a new concealer i'm thinking about trying the ColourPop no filter concealer um i saw they expanded their shades and i love when there's like multiple shades because i really love a bright under eye but yeah and now i'm just blending it down the bridge of my nose And here, quickly setting my entire face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 10. Guys, this powder is the real deal. I don't like that it has talc, but to be completely honest with you, when I take pictures and stuff at nighttime or just pictures in general of my makeup, I do not see any flashback. I know talc does um, provide flashback, but not with this one. Here I'm using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is a brand new one. I picked up the darker shade that they came out with and I am obsessed. The first shade, it worked for me, but I really, really had to pack it on and build it up and pack it on. Um, with this one, I just need a little 
little bit and it goes a very long way and I feel like the color is beautiful and I am taking the pretty vulgar blush crap I don't know the name but I will list it in the down in the um, description bar below there I put a little too much so I was like toning it down so starting off on the lower lash line i'm going to pick up the shade tropico um, i'm basically going to be using the same exact shades that i used on my eyes and i'm using that with a morphe e36 i really love this brush for the lower lash line it's a tiny little fat chubby brush but it diffuses everything super nicely um, here taking the shade guantanamera and applying that right over top the tropico shade i really wanted the lower lash line to be very um smoked out and a little bit of Nior from the Soft Glam palette in the outer corner. And right here, just taking both of those blue shades, Varadero and Celia, and applying that in the inner half. I love these blues together. They're so nice. Um, using the Benefit number 4 pencil, I'm just doing the tops of my eyebrows because I do always do them at like the last point. Because if not, the foundation just messes everything up for me and it pisses me off. So... That's just the way I go. Um, here setting my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray and buffing that into my skin. Making sure all the powder is diffused and melted. Um, <laughs> for a highlighter, I am taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. I've been loving this highlight. Um, I've also been loving this brush. I always use a fan brush, but recently I've been using the Morphe M510 and it's changed my life. I completely love the way that it applies the highlighter. Um, so moving on to lips, here I am using the LA Girl Lip Liner. I found them at CVS. Everybody was talking about them, so I needed to try it out for myself. And they are amazing. They're about three or four dollars and they're super buttery. They remind me a lot of the MAC ones, which is what everybody's saying. So I definitely recommend them. This that was in the shade Nonstop Nude. And here I am picking up the Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. And I'm applying this right on top. I love this combination. It kind of reminds me of everything else that I wear. But I'm a nudes type of gal. I'm so sorry. Um, and then lastly, I am topping that off with the Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade Can You Not. My new favorite gloss. The formula is spectacular. Um, so if you have not tried these, you guys should definitely pick them up. Alright guys, and that completes this tutorial. I know it was kind of fast and short, but short and sweet is the best. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.